welcome to the grand opening of our new compressed natural gas fueling station. These trucks are state-of-the-art natural gas collection trucks. Each truck will reduce greenhouse gases up to and maybe more by 25% versus using diesel trucks in the town, in turn reducing their carbon footprint. With this clean, compressed natural gas, it really is great for the city of Fort Lauderdale. It's great for our residents. You know, we've been talking about how we make it a better place to live, work, play, and raise a family. Well, this does it right here. I'm proud to tell you that across the country, Broward County right now as a county leads the nation in having the largest alternative fuel vehicle fleet uh, in the southeast United States. And we're pretty proud of that marker, but nothing really helps move us forward unless you have companies and cities that are willing to go push us to the next level, and that's what Choice has done today. This is a great new industry for the state of Florida. Instead of tourism, let's think energy. We're looking to put the next CNG station here in our Hollywood, Florida. So we're looking to get our trucks to say clean energy or Tico. I'm just kind of jealous that you guys have all these beautiful, clean and green, fantastic uh, trucks helping the people in Broward. We got to get some of these trucks in Dade County. So yeah. people use the word green frequently and a lot of people aren't sure what it means. If you want to know what the word green means, it's what Pompano and Fort Lauderdale and Choice and Broward County are doing today. If you want to know what environmentally friendly, controlling it, emissions means, that's not just a word, it means actually doing it. So I'm very proud that, that this company, Choice Environmental Services, Fort Lauderdale, Pompano, and Broward County in general, they're not just talking the talk, they're walking the walk in terms of climate control. And uh, it's an honor to be here, and I'm just hoping that uh, we follow your lead, Mayor, and that we get some of these trucks in Dade County. Just so some of you understand the extent of this facility, uh, uh, this is called a time fill station. It's designed to fuel vehicles up overnight uh, and in a manifolded uh, type of manner. There are 30 fueling points on this facility. So right now there are about 10 trucks. So all the cities locally around here, there's another 20 spots for trucks to, uh, to sit and fuel up.